Hey guys, what's going on? CJ, my bro, Jamai. What's good? Bringing you another video today, and this one's a bit different. We're going to be talking about three different emulators. The first one being Nox, next one being Memu, and lastly, Bluestacks. So what we'll be doing is going over each emulator, showcasing the interface, the quality of gameplay, and other features that they bring to the table. Yes! So first, we'll be doing an overview of Nox. All right, so getting to the interface of Nox, the one thing I will say that's pretty cool about it is that it looks like an Android phone. Mm. Um, the toolbar, though, is a bit confusing. Yeah, very extensive. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to navigate because there's so many buttons. Um, and another thing with the toolbar, uh, the home button and the back button are probably the most important buttons. Yeah, and they're uh, not right and They're there. at the bottom, which is, I guess, it's easy to find. Uh, for some people, but it would be nicer if it were bigger or yeah, somewhere that's easier to access. Yes. Another thing with the interface is the home bar at the bottom. It actually shows recommended apps. It doesn't show the apps that we actually downloaded. And as you can see there, the only game that we really have is Lineage. Yes. Just to try it out and for the gameplay footage, which you're going to see later. Yeah, going into that, when you do play a game or when you do start up a game, there's no real easy way to exit out other than pressing the home button. Yeah, uh, it, it would be nicer if you there's like an X at the top. Um, you could also hit escape, but yeah. it'd be cooler if there's or nicer if there's an easier way to like a quit game. But yeah, and yeah, exactly. That's all we need. Let's head into gameplay right now. So as you can see, the gameplay is pretty crisp. It's that good quality. Uh, there are some lag spikes here and there, but, you know, I guess that goes with every emulator that, yeah. you, that you use. That's usually just uh, based off the setup that we have, uh, especially yeah. our computer. Yeah, our, our specs of our computer. Yes. Pretty decent, though, and it's fun. So, now getting into key mapping, it's a little bit tedious to do because you actually have to drag the keys down into, like, the controls or what you're supposed to set your hotkeys to, and then set the hotkeys, whereas, you know... It should be easier to input them, but it's not here. Yeah, it, the fact that you have to individually put it, it's kind of uh, tedious. Yeah, and time wasting. Yes, but the I guess the upside is that you can customize it the way you want. Yeah, uh, it, it'll it would have been nicer if they already had it preset. Yeah, and that's coming from two dudes that kind of want it simple. Yeah, we're very sim simple, Jack. Yeah, you just don't put one two three four five yeah. and not have to drag everything in so mm -hmm. so yeah overall nox is a pretty decent emulator but uh we will be moving over to mimo next mimo so yeah right off the bat as you can see this looks very similar to nox yes um the toolbar is not as extensive not as extensive but there's still quite a bit of things to uh go through yeah um What's nice about that is at the bottom, it does show the back button, the home button. Yeah. And it, yeah, it separates it. So, you know where to click. Uh, if only if it were a little bit bigger. Yeah. So that it's like, here's the home button just in <laughs> case because so we're, we're like, like looking all over. For yeah, we're kind of me. I'm, I need glasses. Yeah. So I can't see. <laughs> yeah. But pretty good interface. Yeah. It does remind me of an Android just like the other one. Yeah. Um. It has the the apps that you need. Yeah, that's and another thing. Like just to mention, yeah. I don't like that you have to actually go to the Play Store to get the game. Ah, uh, yeah. So, okay, that's uh, just a little weird. Yeah, it's the same for the uh, Knox mm. as well. But as you can see here, it does also do the recommended games because yeah. we only downloaded Lineage, but it says that we have King of Avalon and then. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and slots, slots. yeah, that's stuff random. like that. Yeah, it it'll it would have been nice if they just had what we downloaded. Get off the home page. Yeah, on the home page. But what's cool is that there's a browser. You can also manage your files and yeah. your downloads and settings. That's that's cool. That all those specific things and all those uh, useful features are at the bottom of the uh, home page. There's also Facebook, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think they're asking you to like their page. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into the gameplay. Yes. So right off the bat, when we loaded Lineage, the thing is, is that it didn't save our character. Which kind of sucked, because we yeah. had to start all over again. Yeah, we had to make a Duda Pepa account. Yeah. I mean, um, we tried to fetch it, but it just wouldn't fetch it. And yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. It's okay. Like we could still, you know, farm on yeah. this this character. <laughs> it's it's all the same. 
but it, I kind of wish that they were able to fetch our players' data and yeah, so that we can t- continue on that main account. Especially since we waited for it to like load everything, and then mm-hmm. it said it was gonna fetch it, and then it didn't. Yeah. So. Oh well. Um. But yeah. As for the gameplay, the crisp as well. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. There there are lag spikes. Mm-hmm. I just have to mention that just so that you guys understand that it's not gonna be like the best. Like yeah. Frame rate. You like all throughout. There there are gonna be some lag spikes. And there's a lot of stuff going on. So. Mm-hmm. And this is based off our computer. Our specs. Yeah. If you guys have like a monster of a computer, you probably won't run into those yeah. uh, errors or issues. But yeah, that's what we had. Um, getting into the key mapping. Yes. Same thing. It's as very Nox. yeah, very similar to Knox. Very uh, tedious. Yeah. Individual key mapping. You have to drag and drop each key to where you want. Um, us, we're simple jacks, so we kind of just want to put the hotkeys in, and yeah. that's it. But it, It'd be it's... nice if everything's just laid out for us, yeah. and then we just input the keys. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it, you know? It's a simple interface. Yeah, it's also pretty decent. So with that being said, this interface is pretty decent, but it does have its issues, uh, especially with the game that we're trying to play on it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, let's move right into the last emulator, which is BlueStacks. So yeah, as you can see with BlueStacks, the interface is a lot cleaner. Yes. Uh, it looks a little bit more up to date. and They like, have their own app store. Yeah, it, it looks easier to on navigate. the eyes. Yeah. yeah, easy on the eyes. It, it looks nice fun. Nice and blue. Yeah, nice and cool. They have their, like, the tabs are very well organized and everything. Yeah, and... We'll get into this later, but there's a thing called a Pika World and yeah, Pika it's Points. Pretty cool. Yeah, get into that after. Uh, the tabs, the App Center, it's separate from the Google Play. Yeah. You know, they have their own customized like center for for every app. Yeah. That you can download. Also, I've got like popular games, top grossing games, trending, and stuff like that there. But yeah, as you can see on the My Apps tab. It actually shows the apps that we have. Yes. And the it's only one clean. that we downloaded was Lineage 2. Yeah. That's all. Like, it doesn't show recommended because there's a separate tab for the App Center, you know, for you for you to search for on your own. Yeah. And, yeah, there is another tab on the right. It says Pika World. And once you click that, um, it shows other players around you that, that are playing on Bluestacks, which is pretty awesome. I think that also awesome. shows, like, who's live, so that's pretty cool because the yeah. number keeps changing right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, once you first download Bluestacks, I think they automatically uh, assist you to sign up with an avatar. Yeah. And what's cool about this, other than, you know, meeting new players because you could click on their profile and message them or, like, see what they're playing. Yeah. Um, kind of reminds me of Pokemon Go for some reason. Yeah, it does. It does. It's pretty cool. And Pika World. Pika Pika. Um, uh, <laughs> but what is also cool is that they have Pika points. Yes. Um, it, it all accumulates and you basically get some every cool stuff. Yeah, basically every time you log in, every time you download, and every time you play a game. Yeah. Um, you earn Pika points, and then you can redeem those for awesome like. Items like t-shirts, mouses. Yeah. And other prizes. If you want to enter in like raffles, yeah. there's also an option for that. So make sure you guys, you know, if you do use BlueStacks, play every day so you yeah. can get these. It's technically free. You're just grinding for Pika points and then you get free stuff. Uh, you also get gaming. a month uh, of, what do you call that, for a subscription? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's like 4,000 Pika points, so. Yeah. We're on our way. But that's pretty much it for the interface for BlueStacks. We are moving straight into the gameplay. Yes. And, and as you guys can see, the key mapping, we talked about it before. Easy. Just yeah, put it in. Actually, that's it. Yeah. Once you hit the key map button on the bottom, right, um, it actually has it laid out for you. Yeah. Uh, you could add stuff at the top. You can still drag in other things. But for the most part, it already has, you know, your WASD your movement and then all the Specials, special stuff yeah. and and your main moves it's it's all there and then all you have to do is just replace the keys if you want to 
Um, Simplicity. Yeah, uh, you don't have to use the key mapping though. Yeah. For BlueStacks, it already has it at default. Yeah. But you, if you want to customize, you could do, definitely do that. Um, the lag is also the same, but you know. Yeah. That's that's pretty standard, especially with our computer. Yeah. I uh, just have to mention that. The quality is good though. Yeah. The the gameplay quality, like the resolutions and frame rate, is pretty crisp as well. So all across the board, they're all pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, another thing with the toolbar at the bottom, simple. Yes. There's a couple buttons. It's not in the way. And there's a home button on the opposite side, and that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. And at the top too, there is a tab, and this basically allows you to X out the game easily. Yeah. You know, and you can have multiple tabs. You could have multiple games open. And if you don't want to play that certain game, all you have to do instead of, like, hitting the escape key or finding another way to exit, it's up there at the top. You could just X the tab out, and then the game's closed. Easy. Yes. Simple. Very simple. Simple jack. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for BlueStacks. Overall, very simple, very yeah. easy to use. And since this is a comparison, we are going to give our rating for the best emulator yeah. just so that you guys have an idea of like our opinion on the emulator and you can take it from there yeah. on which one you want to use go compare the three yourselves yeah but for for me my my opinion i think blue stacks is the best it's just easy to use uh it's i honestly have more fun using it yeah uh there's a separate app center for you to download um there's a whole peak of world yeah. Which is super different. You can actually earn Pika points for prizes. Yeah. Just by playing games. Yeah. That's super different. Functionality at its core is really good on this whole thing. Like, it, yes. everything is just set up so well so that way you can just navigate seamlessly. Yes. And it's easy on the eyes. So, that being said, you guys go leave your comments down below what you thought and go leave a like if you guys enjoyed. We hope that this video helped your decision on what emulator you want to use. Uh, like we said, we prefer Blue Stacks just because of how much easier it is. Um, and there's another incentive with the whole Pico world. You yes. know, you could play games to earn prizes. And with that, we hope that you enjoyed the video once again. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye!